At a safe distance from the Israelis, armed Hamas men who had been sent to escort us. They led the way, sirens blaring. They've sent three jeep loads of security men to meet us and escort us into Gaza City. They took us to what they still call the office of the Prime Minister. He is Ismail Haniya, supposedly sacked by the Palestinian president, but still in power in Gaza. I took the opportunity to ask him about Alan Johnston. It's 100 days since Alan Johnston disappeared. What news do you have for his family and his friends in Britain? It is 100 days, sir. He is one of our top priorities. His case is under constant consideration. We're getting closer to resolving it. The men holding Alan Johnston call themselves the Army of Islam. But in reality, according to Hamas officials, they are members of a large Gaza family clan called the Dogmush. Their heavily armed gang is said to control these streets. There's not a Hamas man in sight. Behind me over there is the part of Gaza City which is under the effective control of the Dogmush clan, the family which is believed to be behind the Army of Islam and to be holding Alan Johnston. Somewhere in the sprawl of buildings there is perhaps where Alan himself is being held. But we can go no farther. Our Hamas bodyguard urged us to leave. Then his radio crackled. A leading member of the Dogmush clan had just been shot. At the scene, Hamas security men and onlookers standing around a pool of blood. The Dogmush man had apparently been executed by hooded gunmen. At the morgue, angry members of the Dogmush clan. They accused Hamas, but they themselves are accused. Is it true that your family is holding the British journalist Alan Johnston? The men denied categorically that the Dogmushes are involved. Then they told us to leave. It's not clear who carried out this latest killing. But with Gaza still under the rule of the gun, the fate of British journalist Alan Johnston is still surrounded by uncertainty. As you know, this is a very difficult negotiation. And you are negotiating with uh, a very special group with a very extreme uh, way of thinking. And uh, the only thing which uh, uh, keeping the hands of the government cuffed is the life of uh, Alan Johnston. They're dealing with other issues too, including the challenge from the Abbas government on the West Bank. Tonight, President Abbas called the Hamas government a bunch of murderous terrorists with whom there would be no dialogue. He said they too had plotted to kill him. But in Gaza, the other government says they're the ones under threat. A hundred days since he was kidnapped and Alan Johnston's family marked the occasion with a vigil in Scotland this afternoon. At the same time, this appeared on the internet. What seems to be new footage from the video Johnston's captors, the Army of Islam, first released on Sunday. Alhamdulillahi mu'izzil mu'mineen. In this clip, posted on a jihadist website today, the group claims Johnston has been well treated. But perhaps its most insistent message is that it wants to avoid violence with Hamas, which has demanded Johnston's release. This infidel doesn't deserve the spilling of a single drop of Muslim blood. We just want to reiterate that we will never fight with our fellow Muslims. The kidnappers congratulate Hamas on its victory, apparently trying to convince Gaza's new leaders that Johnston's capture is justified, and they repeat their demand that Britain release the Muslim cleric Abu Qatada. Do you know what happens to our brothers in British jails? So join us under the united banner of Islam. None of this may be much comfort to Johnston's family and his fellow journalists who observed a minute's silence in newsrooms across Britain and around the world today. It's not even clear who the Army of Islam are. It's long been believed the Darmush clan are involved, though the captor's latest video denies any involvement with any specific family group. Hamas had hoped Johnston would be released two days ago, 
but their negotiators have evidently not achieved the breakthrough they hoped for. And we just don't know if the Army of Islam will drop its demand that Abu Qatada be released.